in the southwest of England, surrounded by farmland, covering 250 acres of parkland and stately gardens, sits the estate of Durham Park. At over 300 years old, its rich history is only matched by its wealth of wildlife. Created as a pleasure ground for its original owner, William Blathwaite, the park is now enjoyed year-round by visitors, most of whom come hoping to catch a glimpse of the park's most famous residents. Originally introduced to hunt for sport, they now play a key part in managing the park's ecosystem. Fallow deer. The park's grassland supports the deer throughout the year. Growing on a chalky soil, this is a calcareous grassland. And some parts can be easier to stomach than others. Amongst the grass are tougher plants. And nettles are not a favourite for the deer. Upon trying them, they seem to decide they are better suited to another use. Relieving an itch. To help manage the parkland, another herbivore is brought in during the summer months. Cattle. They graze alongside the deer. but are able to handle much tougher vegetation. And what they leave behind is perfect for the deer, who prefer shorter and finer grass. But even when feeding on this finer grass, the deer need to aid their digestion. by re-chewing their meal. They achieve this by regurgitating it and chewing their meal again. Their poor digestion means they are constantly feeding. on the move. They feed constantly throughout the daylight hours. The effect of which means little variation in plant life. However, some areas of the park are fenced to protect them from the deer. These wild flower meadows have a rich biodiversity. In one of the wildflower meadows, beehives have been installed. These provide a home for a colony of honeybees, which collect nectar and pollinate the various flowers. Mm -hmm. 
Other pollinators are also found here. To ensure the flowers return the following year, at the end of each summer, the meadow is cut. This ensures that the seeds disperse and that life will return. Whilst the flower meadows sit protected around the edge of the estate, another habitat weaves its way through the centre This habitat can provide shade for the deer on a hot day. Deciduous woodland. Unlike evergreen trees, deciduous provide a changing environment throughout the year. And more can be found here than deer sheltering from the sun or rain. Deadwood from natural decay or planned felling is left in piles amongst the trees. Rotting slowly, this provides a unique environment. Although at first glance, its residents are hard to spot, and a closer look is needed, various species of beetle and wood lice feed on decaying wood and lay their eggs amongst the bark. Other invertebrates simply use the wood as a place to hide. The estate is filled with creatures that would make a quick meal out of this snail. And as night falls, one of them is about to emerge. At dusk, badgers begin to leave their sets though wary at first. Perhaps now. No. Once dark enough, they venture out. A staple of their diet is provided in the orchard by the fallen fruit. But badgers are omnivorous and eat meat as well as vegetation. And so hunt amongst the woodpiles for invertebrates. With their stomachs full, they make use of the grassland to provide themselves with bedding for the day. And with their beds made, they return underground. Although originally created as a playground for the wealthy, today Durham Park provides a home for wildlife and aims to do so for generations to come.